lot of different ways. What are you going to remember most from tonight? Well, uh, probably the radio issues. We had a radio harness or something went out under the pace laps and didn't have a radio for about 50 laps. Swapped out the earplugs, still didn't work. Swapped out the helmet, still didn't work. So probably ran about 100, 120 laps without really much communication with DJ. And finally they stuck a radio with a short harness in it and a button I could clip to my chest and I could hear them and talk back under caution. But it worked out and uh, we didn't lose any lap or anything. So just as, as frustrating as that is, uh, it was important not to give up and uh, lose a lap or anything and try to try to salvage what we could because we had a t we had a top 10 top five car and i'm glad we were able to get a good result uh with the with those issues you know you couldn't hear tj up there uh how was that driving the car without a spotter essentially well i've been around here enough i kind of knew where i needed to be and i kind of could tell where i was gonna be clear and not clear and um err on the conservative side but I was in the back, so it's kind of easier doing it there. If I'd have been on a you know restart, lining up in the front three or four rows, that'd have been tough. But um, we, uh, it is what it is. I mean, <clears throat> spotters are so important, very helpful. And uh, I was missing TJ there for a while, but uh, we got it sorted out. Is there a moment during this race where you just go, I mean, can't we get through a race without some sort of wacky issue? Yeah, when you don't run every week, you're gonna have these kind of things happen. Um, this car only rounds when I drive it. Maybe they need to go race it more and try to work the bugs out. But you just gotta start, kind of remain calm. Everybody's here to help you. No reason to bitch anybody or raise hell at your pit crew or your crew chief. They're all there to want to fix it. They're the ones that are gonna help you fix it. So try to stay calm and uh, try again to get a good result. What did you need to get Ryan? Sorry? What did you need to get Ryan there at the end? Uh, I need him to slow down a little bit. I don't know, he was loose and I was tight. And I almost could get to his right rear and turn four, but I was worried about jumping the cushion and hitting the fence. But I was getting tight. We dropped the track bar and didn't, didn't really need to on that last run. Yeah. Fun racing him. I was trying to pass him because I knew Martin was watching. And I was like, I, I bet Martin's pulled for him. So I wanted to be so I could throw it in. Two eggs, we're going hunting in a couple weeks. If this is the last time that you drive in the series, are you satisfied with how it's all yeah, played out? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I don't ever run again, I'd. I'm happy at 50 years old, jump in once, run top 10. Um, I know there was some guys named Gant and Allison that were winning races in their 50s. So I know it's damn doable. It's not, not anything not anything too crazy, but um, not doing it every week, man. You're certainly coming here feeling like you're, you're handicapped and got to, you know, drink the fire hose trying to figure out what's going on and get up to speed. Did you have enough so, yeah. fun tonight to potentially warrant a 2026 comeback? I loved comeback? every lap. Yeah, I loved every lap. It was great. I mean, I got everything I wanted out of this, and um, I'll miss it next year. I'm certainly, I'm certain I'll probably sign up somewhere else. I'm trying not to already start thinking about where would I run, where do I want to run, but uh, I definitely do want to take next year off, focus on my broadcasting, get back, get my boot phone, and get get back to work there, and make sure I'm doing a good job. But yeah, that's my priority, right? And that and my family. So if this is the last one, would that be all right? Would this finish yeah. be okay if yeah. it was the last one? Yeah, all I right. could shut her down with a top ten, sure. <laughs> and I'm not going to, Bob. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> what did Ryan and Shane tell you when you got out of the car? Well, I just told Shane before the race. I said, man, I'm really looking forward to uh, racing you out there. And we talked about the track, and I went to all Marcus Ambrose lined me up with Crusher and those guys in Australia, and um, Paul Morris. And I went to Australia about 20 years ago for a week, maybe two weeks. And a blast. Loved it. Big super, uh, supercar fan from decades ago. And uh, didn't go to New Zealand. And I want to. And um, I told him, I said, man, if, if I go to New Zealand, I want to stay at your place. Show me around. He's like, yeah. So he's a good dude. All those people over there, man, they're just amazing. Their whole outlook on life. New Zealanders and Australians, man, they're just, they got a really cool approach to, to to living, man, and I really love it, and hope to take Amy back and the kids one day. You still uh, plan on having that beer with Riley Herbst? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, where's he at? <laughs> yeah, I, man, I was trying to pass him and trying to pass him, and I know he's racing. It's fine. I wasn't mad that he raced, but you are, but then he kind of pulled over, and I ran around his outside, I'm like, what was that about? Like, just, you let me go, you not let me go? Yeah, how much? It's all good. 
Could you have done the full race without your glasses? Oh, I did. I took them off. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can see you great. I just can't see the dash. Can't read like the little numbers. So they're like, how hot it is? I'm like, it's 200 and something. <laughs> but uh, I can see out the windshield just fine. I just, you know, you know, I can yeah. I'm the same as you right here, buddy. You know what I'm saying? How much are you going to give the guys back in the shop for running over no. Sawzalls back at no, the no road? We got a bunch of you Sawzalls upstairs. <laughs> we'll be fine. Steven Stump of FrontChurch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos. And if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.